straight cruising Headed for a bruising Watching out for number one You gotta slow down I'm gonna give you a sewing room tour behind here but first before we open the door and have a little snoop I'm going to show you a little bit of um, recovering a sofa. It took me quite a few days. I think if I'd attacked it in a one it would have been one day, but it took me several days because um, I just fitted it in around everything else that I was doing. Today, I want to get things done. This sofa here is years old, absolutely years old. And uh, Toby had it in his very first house when he was 22 and he's gonna be 48 this year. 49 this year, is he 47? I forget how old he is, how old am I? 44, yeah, he's gonna be 48. 49, oh, I don't know, however old he is. He, he, this is an old sofa, but it's very comfortable. And despite the dog duffing up this pillow where she sits on it, there's life in the old dog yet. Here we go. I, so I absolutely love these. They've got these gorgeous seams where in the olden days, the looms weren't big enough. Some of it is a bit thin in areas. Um, you can see through the, with the light shining through. But I'll just put that where it's not going to get much wear and tear. So down the back, underneath the cushions, and I'll use the sturdier bits. Now it's not, it's not as pearly white as it looks on camera, but that's okay because the dogs just muller this. Bunny comes running in from her walk, and she just gets overexcited and jumps on it. But eventually. I will be replacing this sofa because it won't last forever. But until then, I've got this lovely fabric. I shall do something with it. And then when the sofa is no more, I'll repurpose the fabric to something else. Don't know if you can see how faded, how sun faded it is. I'm doing that. <laughs> I know, I was just saying, how old are you? 48. Now? Who? You. Yeah. You're 48 now? Yeah. So 49 this year? Yeah, all right, then. So this, when did you get this? When you were 22? About that. That's old, isn't it? 23. 25 yeah. years old. Straight cruising, headed for a bruising, watching out. It's a couple of days later now, and I'm still doing this project because I'm just doing it bit by bit as and when I get the time. Wilfred's in lessons. I'll just see if I can show you. There he is, bless him. Everything's covered. The back's done. I've patched it with modern fabric and then I've got the old fabric. Whoops. All that is left now is to trim the seams. I think I might run over the seams, the stitching. Look, oh, what a bad job I did there, never mind. Um, just to give it a bit more strength. Hem it and then done. So that's tomorrow's job. It's Wednesday morning now, and it's vile out there. I quite like it. Okay, moment of truth. The cover is going on the right way round. Let's hope, because you have to make it inside out, <laughs> that these arms are identical, because otherwise it's not going to fit. It fits, it fits fine. I mean, it's a bit rustic, <laughs> but I 
like it, rustic. That's a bit pants there, but actually it's quite cute. I can see here that this is quite thin though, so that was a shame that I ended up having to patch to try and get um, to try and get the fabric to stretch. So I'm going to make some arm covers. Yeah, you can really see the seams. It'll be fine. I'm going to make some hardy arm covers, maybe double layered. Oh, I'm so glad to have that job done. This is... And it is finished. I'll whip the covers off in a minute to show you, but um, I'm still having to cover it a bit because it's so wet and muddy outside. And that little lady keeps leaping in the mud and then onto the sofa. It's raining at the minute, but the sun's shining, so that means there'll be a rainbow somewhere. I'm going to sit down, have a coffee and congratulate myself. <laughs> All right, so let's go in. Where's the handle? To get to my room, you have to come through another room, this room, which is, um, it's like a family office, classroomy thing. Wilf does his saxophone and it's in the process of being decorated. I'm painting the windows at the minute. Okay, so come on in. Got a little cross stitch there that my friend Sandy, who I've known online since before Wilf was born, so that's a decade. Um, okay, let's show you these little bits. It's where I hang my little ironing board. And these are just silly little things that I made in pottery one day when I didn't really know what to do. But they're so adorable, I love them. When they're lit and the light comes out. And then I've got a couple of shelves. And this is my cutting table with my overlocker on it. And I'm in the midst of making overlocker cover and a sewing machine cover out of this old um, scrap of quilt that I was given. This is my basket that's got the things I want to chat about when I do a vlog or a podcast. I might do that later if I get time. And on my shelves are a few bits and bobs, some treasures, some memories, some gifts. Just a few little bits and pieces. And then I've got a peg shelf that Franca gave me that came out of a cafe she used to own. Um, radiator cover makes such a difference. Got a little table that Ted made. He was looking at it earlier on and picking fault in it. Oh, I love it though. Little chair that's been mushed up by little dog with muddy feet. This is the unit that I bought from eBay the other day. I've already shown you inside. I'll show you again. I like to stick things on, on the doors. It's like my pin board. Um, I like this idea. I'm going to do this in the kitchen, but not have baskets. Um, this was off the envelope that a knitting book was in. Um, I know it looks like I've got a lot of yarn, but actually this is only four Ikea cubes worth. And I don't think that is too bad. I've got a bit more yarn up there and my Luna Lapin and some books I enjoy, some books I enjoy flicking through. Some 
candles from my favourite candle company. This smells of babies. It's like babies talcum powder. Um, these were here. These were in the fireplace when we moved in. So they're really old and they are, I'm having to be a bit careful with them because they're so brittle and fragile. But um, I don't know where Bob, who used to own this house, where he got them from. Because I need some, I need to go and pick some like this to send them to a friend. And then I've got my Claire plants. I bought this air plant from NGNG in Exeter when I went for a day a couple of years ago to meet Cherie. And it was having babies at the time. I had two babies, there they are. And since then, and since then, it's had another baby and it's got another baby now. So that little £2.50 plant, she's been quite productive, hasn't she? I just picked that up on one of my um, walks. There's some scissors I bought from um, Catherine bed of roses it's just a this was um this was bill's lamp but the shade broke so i replaced it with a blank one and then just put a bit of linen over the top to soften it um, there's the sofa that i've covered i'm very happy with even though mud but that's okay because it comes off the wash it comes the slip cover comes off and goes in the wash um, dog nose art on the window it's a very gray day today got some candles lit i've got a cyclamen from a friend joe who i saw at the end of the summer she brought this around she came with her kids for lunch and it's still going strong and then this is a cutting that Jules sent me. So sweet violet. And I, it's doing so well, it loves it there. Um, I got some Let Lopey Wool. I'll chat about this in my podcast in a minute, but isn't it just so pretty on this little stool? that I got for about £12 from a second-hand stall that one of the ladies in the village runs. And it was orange pine and I painted it grey. Um, this here, this here box is an old travel trunk, like a import-export trunk, I think. And it was Toby's toy box when he was little and I've got it on its side I need to put this on a tension rod this little curtain and it's where Margot sleeps Margot came to me second hand and in order to get her to settle in properly with us we kept everything the same as much as possible so we kept her routine and her bed space exactly the same and um, she still just likes she just likes to sleep in her crate she asks to go in there my shelves here I've got all sorts of things squirreled away in these little boxes bunting and stamps and letter writing bits and stickers and cards knitting needles cotton threads um, oh, all sorts of bits and pieces I've shown this before. This is a cute little tiny, tiny, I don't think it's a christening gown. I think it's for a doll. Because actually, if that was a christening gown, then that would have been a very, very premature baby. I think it was a practice piece. And I think it was for a doll. There are my quilts. Some seed heads from the garden, a wood burner, and this is this funny stuff called King's Incense, Kongulgoskur, I can't remember how you say it, and it smells lovely. 
and I've packed it away for Christmas, but I've left this bit out. So when the fire's lit, that will smell nice. I think I got that plant in Exeter with Cherie as well, and it's just grown incredibly well. No, I didn't. I got this when I went to the Lay Family Yarn retreat and bought that from a lady called Nikki whose shop name I don't remember but she's in the um what's that but she's she's next door and over the road from Lay Family Yarn I've got embroidery bits in there seeds for the garden in there um, just bits and bobs that I like here. Bonnie from Pennsylvania, Bonnie Lee Reese. Meadow Farm Fiber Arts. She sent those over. This is my granddad's uh, pruning knife. So that's a bit special to me. I've got a card there that I love and I've kept. Um, printed out knitting patterns are in there. This cake dome, my mother-in-law bought this for me about 12 years ago for Christmas and she went shopping in London and it was so heavy and she had to drag it around with her all day. And in there was a little tea set that I saw for about three pounds in a charity shop and I loved it so I bought it. Um, there's an old safe there that I painted because it was a nasty grey colour and no one can remember the code to get in there and it's got all of our DVDs, home videos from like when the children were tiny in there so <laughs> we're going to have to sort that out at some point. That's my desk where I do loads of things, lots of admin, lots of fundraising. Lots of bureaucracy, sewing, letter writing. This is my book of my book of lists. It's uh, it's nice. It's um, I copied it from Cherie. It's got um, it's got squares, square paper, and I just yeah, you've all seen lists before. I'm not a art journaler or particularly organised. I just like lists. These are little origami stars that my friend Jo, who is my pottery teacher as well as being my good friend, um, gave me for my birthday last year. And there's some maple leaves that I pressed because I love them. And that is a sprig of Sarah Cocoa, I think that's how you say it, Christmas box. And it smells incredible. And a tiny little sprig like that will perfume a whole room of this size. So underneath my cutting table, which is on these trestles, I have got these cardboard boxes and I've just put a few bits and pieces in them and labelled them. Toby got me this plank of plywood and I painted that um, because it was just, it was dead space. This is so that you can have, have it at different heights, but I always have it at the same height. So I thought, well, let's just use the space. I've got fabric and all sorts in these boxes. Here I have a Christmas present from Franca, part of it. She's so generous. Um, cashmere wrist warmers, which I love, and some candles. And I made this little rope basket thing. And then I've got, oh, miscellaneous bits and pieces in there. Things I want to do. And there's my iron. Ted put a little shelf in this crate for me. And then down here I've got a seed box and then the bed of roses necklaces. Now I think, I was talking to John the postman, I think he said give it a week and we'll probably be all right to post that out. So that's good. Here I've got my little rainbow that Jules made and sent me as a gift. And bluebell woods art that Ted did and then I've just got all sorts of little funny bits hanging up 
Life's truest happiness is found in the friendships we make along the way. Um, time to drink champagne and dance on the table. I got these from my friend Supercell's wedding. And then my lovely turnip. Um, Mum to my three of my godchildren sent me that about 18 months ago now. I love that. And I've got another one that matches. I should hang it there, actually. Over here, which should be on display properly. Friends are like stars. You don't have to see them to know they're there. I love that. Yes, I've got lots of lovely memories and treasures here. I've got these from Karen at Christmas, and this was from Bonnie. Um, Meadow Farm Fibre Arts. Oh, I love it. This was something I made. I went on a like a little crafty day with my friend Julie. We went to Claudia's gaff, Didier and Dandelion. Dandelion and dog. Didier and Dandelion. Yes, I get muddled. Um, this was a little embroidery I made when I was, we had a quiet afternoon at the cafe one day. So Franka and I sat and stitched. It's one of my necklaces from Catherine. This is from Jules as well, a little love token. This is from my friend Fee, Chippinelli. I don't think she made it. I think French Knots Joe made that. These are some hearts that Debs, who I bought the um, fabric I covered my sofa with, sent with some of the fabrics. And then I've got my radio and that was from Laura. We made this home and I need to get some more candles to fit in there. These ones are too fat. There we are. This is my little room, currently tidy, will not stay tidy for long. It sees lots of activity and um, it gets used, it gets used. And it's just a really lovely place to sit and to be. It's very restful and I love it. I'm very, very fortunate to have it. It used to be Toby's study, but he didn't use it, so he let me have it, and now he regrets it. <laughs> He's not having it back. There. Well, I hope you enjoyed having a little snoop around. If there's anything else you wanted to see, I'd be happy to show you. Um, I've just got a load of crap, really, in, in the boxes and in the drawers, but well, I think you've seen it all before, but I'll show you again. There we go. It's my craft room. We call it the bird box because I am the only bird in the house. <laughs> um, yeah, I love this room. I'm really happy in here. It's very serene. And because my head is such a busy place to be, it's lovely having somewhere that's just so mellow and calming. Right. I'm going to try to record a podcast because I want to talk about my jumper and I've got other things, finished objects and um, started objects. I love knitting so much. Straight cruising, headed for a bruising. Watching out for number one You gotta slow down Look around you, son Today is just today And not tomorrow True.